So we can actually define it very narrowly mm -hmm. in terms of, well, it has to be this level of you know, serious disagreement, or we can define it quite broadly. I, I probably prefer a broader definition because I see conflict as a, a not, not always a negative thing. And so if we define it just in terms of the second one, then I think it limits us in some way to saying, well, conflict can actually be positive. And in fact, that's where we get things like creativity and innovation. It is through disagreement um, and conflict that is resolved effectively and, you know, and allowed and actually encouraged. So one thing um, that we find with organisations is that um, the ones that actually get feedback ask, um, ask their staff for feedback and actually allow. Um, some of the top organisations in the world actually have, um, I can't remember what they called them, the ones that I'm thinking of. Um, there's one, I know the organisation's name, but I can't remember what he called it, and I can't even remember his name, but it just came to me then, was HCL Technologies in India. I went to ARI, which is the Australian Human Resources Conference last year, and his name is Vineet, I can't think of his last name, the CEO of, of that company. And they were going through some hardship um, a few years ago, and he got hold of it, and he's obviously a, an incredible leader and a very courageous leader. And he's turned that company around, and he did that through staff feedback. He um, allowed anyone in the organisation, anyone, you know, from the cleaner to his, you know, right-hand man or woman, etc., could actually give feedback. So they had this overflowing staff feedback and input, and you know, of course, that's going to elicit conflict and some anger from, you know, there's going to they're going to hear negative things, but that actually transformed it into a trusting culture. So, I. I you know, I, I like to define it really broadly because sometimes it's those so-called negative, you know, hearing things we might not want to hear that actually allows us to grow, to shift, to, to change. And I'm sure each one of you in your own lives have had difficult conversations with people at times and then through those difficult conversations we've actually, you know, had str stronger relationships with people even though they might have been a bit awkward at the time. But actually through that, we've come out the other side stronger, better, um, you know, and really transparent and open and honest relationships. And that's really what mediation's about, ultimately.